I'm using the same mic as Chris, so I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not muted. Sorry, you're not muted. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Between the Rolls, the, our Murder Hobo Inc. attempt at a talk show. <laughs> so tonight, tonight we have my favorite topic other than gaming. Miniature painting. As I've introduced myself, my name is Carol. I'm a uh, commissioned miniature painter and also a longtime gamer, sometime GM. Uh, let's see, the usual housekeeping. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Uh, check out the YouTube archives if you want to catch up on any of the old episodes of our game or uh, any old episodes of Between the Rolls. All sorts of great GM and player goodness there. Uh, we also have a Discord, which I think is somewhere on the screen. Actually, I could look because I have it on my camera, on my uh, phone here, which I believe is at the bottom. And of course, we have we sell gear. We have a shop, uh, which also I think is I somewhere. Got my shirt. Ah, that's okay. So um, why don't you two? We may have a third. Uh, may have another person joining us. Uh, she is late. Uh, or okay, cool. So. Christy will be joining us a little in a little bit, but right now, um, Chris, you first. Tell us a little about yourself and uh, a little bit about your business and your mini painting and such. Just an intro. Uh, my name's Chris. I am one half of CG Mini Painting. Uh, Jen, Jen here is the other half of CG Mini Painting. Uh, we stream on Twitch. Uh, we are now starting to do weekday streams uh, during the day, as now, for circumstances, time permits. Uh, wonderful COVID. Uh, we paint, we do commissions, I do 3D printing. Uh, anything really revolving around mini painting, we're, 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 I probably have my finger in it somewhere. All right. Is there anything else, or is that all? Is that good? Oh uh, yeah, no, that's that's. Yeah. All right, and Follow of course us on Twitch, I guess. Oh, I, I agree. <laughs> but uh, also, he is in our campaign, so. Oh yes, I play on on the. <laughs> right, that too. He's that not, too. Don't forget that. <laughs> he's the forgetful. He's the very forgetful Eric Carr. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. All right. Yeah. Introduce yourself and say about what you do mini painting wise and go ahead well i'm the other half of cg mini painting <laughs> and i also do um a lot of painting um i'm open for commissions um i paint from hammer <coughs> miniatures to reaper to pretty much anything uh fun to paint but yeah we stream together and it's pretty much the rest of pretty much the same thing <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The camera, I think the camera's food part of it. <laughs> all right, all right. So Christy's coming. As I said, I want to make sure she gets to, to definitely plug her stream that she's going to be doing. Uh, I am so sorry. No, it's okay. I, I heard you have, you have kids. That's enough. To, <laughs> that well, can definitely, yeah. Um, it's my son's 17th birthday, too. Oh, okay. well, happy birthday to your son. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to your son. Yay. Well, right. he's gone out with his friends, probably doing felonious things. <laughs> As most 17 year olds do. Right. I hope we're hearing your voice on here. Otherwise, it's going to be the real world's weirdest conversation to everybody else. Uh, so before we get into mini painting, I'm just going to do a really, really, really quick recap of the two games um, since I got to play them both. Um, the first one was Thursday night, and it was episode 116 called Hot Air. Uh, oh, God, watch this. Uh, it was crazy. It involved a, it started in a bar because most good adventures start in a bar. And it proceeded to a hot air balloon where we had basically a hot air balloon joyride through town, uh, through cacophony. It was insane. I think I fell out every freaking time. I almost fell out of the basket every freaking time you made me make a roll. It was, no. <laughs> but no. I needed one to crawl back in. So that's, so it said, watch it. I mean, so many hijinks happened. So this is the really quick recap because I want to talk mini painting rather than games. 
All right. Cool. And then the other thing we played this week, of course, was our campaign. Um, and after the hugely action-packed uh, episode of two weeks ago, this was thankfully a bit of quiet in the storm. Although, <clears throat> naturally, we split up the party. I don't know, Chris, I was ready to kill them for splitting up the party, but it is what it is. And uh, we made it, we, it's actually gonna work to our favor because we will now have a map of the city. So it was a good time. Um, it said it basically, we got to the, we're still sitting on, three of us are still sitting on the outskirts of Yaddle and the other two are inside. Uh, basically one scouted around and said, and we will have a map. And we, we, rope, we found out a bit more about Dewey. I think we found out a bit more about me and I hopefully, Hopefully Dewey and Manise uh, kind of made up. <laughs> I'm trying to do that because all the party members hate each other in this game, I think. Well, you know, if you stop grabbing on Manise. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Maybe, so, maybe Manise would like a Manise. <laughs> but honestly, watch it. It's, it's, I really enjoy the campaign. It's a really great story. Christy, you were in it at one point. You made yeah. it. Yeah. You were smart. You did the one shot and got the F out of it. Yes. <laughs> I got dragged in. But hey, Bard's cool, so I love yes. Bard. It's hilarious. Um, I mean, I played her last night on my stream, and um, she was kind of useless, and uh, somebody died. No! Well, uh, that's not fun. That's what kind of happened to us a couple weeks ago, because I was I got left the, basically, it was a two level fight. I was on top of a 60 foot cliff and everyone else is at the bottom because of course you always have to frickin' split the party in this game. So Dewey fell, Dewey, Dewey, Dewey took enough damage to friggin' die. And he, he made, his first uh, uh, death save was a one. So that's two failures. So yeah. it took me three Bang. rounds to get down there. I couldn't friggin' do shit because by the time I got down there, he was dead. So, Same in our game, failed oh, on a natural one, automatic. Oh, I'm sorry, and I get that whole thing. It it sucks to feel useless. But Bard's rule. Well, rolled. also I'm a drow and it was daytime, so I got disadvantage on perception checks that have to do with attack rolls. And um, they were too far out in the water oh, for no. any of my spells to be effective. So any kind of melee damage or attack rolls was at disadvantage, so. Uh, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, and that so, wouldn't have been effective anyway. Well, you know what, since you're here, and since that was my really, 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 really short recap of the two games this week, why don't you introduce yourself, uh, tell a bit about your mini painting experience or your or your stream that you want, that you're gonna do. Um, mm -hmm. Go ahead, it's, it's the floor is yours. Well, I'm Christy Peterson and I'm just basically awesome. You know, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably the most interesting person you never met in your whole life. <laughs> and, um, you know, I exude sex <laughs> and, But as a bard, you know, I really like bard characters. I played all kinds of characters and I just like the bard because they're just kind of a mixed bag and you get to be kind of zany and whatnot. As far as many paintings is concerned, um, my husband got me into the hobby because he was interested and he didn't want to do it himself. So he dragged me and the kids along and I think I, I'm the most, I was the most resistant <laughs> to the whole experience because it's like, how dare you, you know? And <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I had the most fun out of it. I've only been painting for a couple of years, and uh, you, hey, you know, wait, seriously? Yeah, I saw it right now. That was one of the most exciting things I found on Twitter was the fact I found out that you actually paint minis. It was like the first time I came across stuff you posted, and said we. I follow enough people. Sometimes it's hard for me to find things out there, but. I came across it and I'm like, wow, that's really good. Especially the little banner. I hope you have that mini around, the one with the little banner on it that you just did. Oh, I yeah. love it. And you love my favorite 
faction for more hammer, which is orcs. So that's well, what you orcs. I don't know anything Sigmar. about Age of Sigmar or anything about 40k. <laughs> I just was. Uh, he was like, "Well, you got to pick your army," and I just picked the ones that I thought were cool. That's the, the way you do it. <laughs> Come on, every mini painter picks their army based on which one will be the most fun to paint. And in my opinion, it's the orcs because you can do whatever you want with them. They, to me, you do them a disservice if you paint them all uniform. So they're scavengers. Yeah. So you and when I, painted, when I painted them, I just thought of like uh, team sports, like football or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. So, so right. I, I painted, painted their uniforms as if orcs would be like uniform but not really because they're orcs <laughs> you know so and i thought the, i thought the little piggy faces made me laugh so that was it you probably like blood bowl um, oh we got that actually and my son's painting those <laughs> my mini my middle son is painting the blood bowl um stuff oh cool yeah. i'm glad yeah. it's in the family it's running in the family so all they're right so me. The first part I'm going to get to is just I would like a little rundown of how you found mini painting, uh, how you get started, and like basically your progression to now if you want. So like I would say, I just I was bored one Sunday after Saturday afternoon after I just finished um, ceramics and I had a mini and had some really cheapy you know craft store paints. I didn't have any any uh, primer or anything, and I just took my brushes and painted up a mini. And I found I was hooked and I found places where I actually learned about things like primer and the good paints and things like that. And, mm -hmm. and just over the years, I just kind of kept going with it. And it's been a very interesting and strange and fun journey to this point where now I actually have a Twitter account with like 500 followers who like my painting. And I go to various conventions in the New England area to try to introduce people to it. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, next, let's, all right, sure. Uh, let's see, I'll just start with Chris. Um, I got into mini painting. Well, first and foremost, I have like zero artistic talent, like whatsoever. <laughs> like I can't draw stick men properly to save my life. Like I'm not over exact, I'm horrible at art. Um, <clears throat> that being said, I enjoy art. I, you know, like the wall behind us, we like art. Um, pretty shiny things. Um, so we started playing D and D. I convinced Jen to uh, give D and D a try. Uh, so so we tried that with some friends from that I was working with. We enjoyed that. Then we met another group of people, and one of the guys was a mini painter. He plays a lot of Zombicide. So he's got like just stacks of boxes of like Zombicide stuff to paint and whatnot. So we had gotten uh, some Whiz Kids uh, minis for our characters. Uh, obviously not painted or anything like that. And we, you know, we were playing with our little minis. And then I asked them to show us how to paint minis. And a year, two years later, and thousands and thousands of dollars in plastic. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> it and costs that, to be the boss. And then, of course, you said, anything else you want to add, or should I move on to? I don't know. Um, not half. really. Like as far as what what got me started, it was it was D and D. Actually, I have that now. <laughs> That's what got me started too. Really, was me too. It was a D. Little, I I did a little bit. Like I did the base and stuff after I knew what I was doing. But like this guy is pretty much like ninety nine percent base coat. And that's <laughs> so that's, that's what I knew then. First, any ninety nine percent base coat, no primer. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Uh, well, no, because it's WizKids, so it's already primed. Okay. <laughs> my, first one, my first one, because I go back quite a few years, it was Reaper when they only had metal minis. It's sitting on a shelf right over there. And I mean, it hasn't really been touched. And the paint is all still on it, even though it hasn't been primed and there's no seal. So go figure. All right, Jen, you're next. What would you... Oh, my story is uh, very similar. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> um, I do have an art background. Um, I, I draw and I took a lot of art classes of all kinds and I've learned some paint techniques a long time ago, um, but I've never painted anything this small. <laughs> so, so that was just to get adjusted to the size of the miniatures and just learning new techniques that I didn't know from different people. 
um, and after painting my first miniature um, for D and D for my character, um, we started buying more Wizkid stuff, and eventually we got into the Warhammer stuff. And we had some okay. Reaper as well, which is and the every nice. stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, so now we have uh, piles and piles of things <laughs> plus the three D printed stuff. How long have you two been painting? A couple of years. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. yeah. So freaking old. I told that's how far I go back. Reaper only had metal dindies and they still do. The metal <laughs> or the best. I think it was about 20 years ago when I started. So I've been doing this a while. <laughs> I have no idea. And and Chris, you said you've been doing it about two years. How did you find it? Uh, uh, like I said, my okay. husband, he dragged me into it. And also, um, as far as D D is concerned, um, I, I had to become a dungeon master because nobody around me wanted to play and my kids were interested. Uh, and so I just wanted to fill out my dungeon and, you know, give them something interesting to look at. And that is so valid. That's the best reason to paint. You know, I just, it was, it, it, I didn't want to be a dungeon master. I like being a, a player and but I like being a dungeon master too, but I also like a visual representation of what I'm trying to put down. And when the player characters see a mini representation of themselves, they're just like, oh, what? You know? Oh, so you paint minis for your players? Yes. Oh, you are the best GM. Holy mackerel. I don't even, I don't even do that unless they, it's upon request. I just, I have too much stuff to, to do these days to, to have time to do it. But, um, oh no, that you are the coolest GM. And I agree with you. I think there's nothing better to play on a really awesome dressed up table with a, with a bunch of minis that are painted up to represent what it actually looks like. The other thing too is minis, I think, can inspire characters. Like I've had mm -hmm. a couple painted up and I've written characters around the minis. So... And of course, sometimes it's the other way around. I'll be inspired to paint a mini based on a character I have. But um, no, that's, yeah, that's to me. I love a table that just got the minis. And of course, we're lucky enough that our my best friend, who's a GM, he has bought like, maybe not all of it, but he's bought a lot of the uh, Dwarven Forge stuff. So we play on the friggin' adult Legos when we're all together playing. Uh, right now, of course, we're not I today. have tons of Dwarven Forge stuff. Oh my goodness. I think that's another reason why. It's like <laughs> Dwarven Forge is super cool. And my husband started buying a bunch of the Dwarven Forge stuff. And it's like, well, you know, a gray mini doesn't look cool in this dungeon. So now I got incentive. And now I have to paint kind of cool. You know, I have to learn. And you're always constantly learning. You learn from other people and other influences and stuff. So it's it's always a learning experience. It's always like something you can learn new or a different way to do stuff. That's so true. And so you and so you do. You really are the friggin' coolest GM. So you have to warm for it and you paint minis. You friggin' win. You're the coolest GM I know. Um, so because I don't, I'm like you though. I would. I would, well, you like to GM too, and I like to once in a while, but prep time, I'd rather just play. I really I, enjoy the playing aspect. I, I'd rather play, but a lot of like GMing is just loosey goosey. I roll a lot of random tables and let the players tell me how to go. That's awesome. All right. So the next question I had so, so that was basically a little bit on your, on your painting. So, what I want to do with this is like to give people out there maybe um, a little motivation or a little advice or such to that maybe they want to get started in painting. So um, each of you come up with one thing, one little piece of advice about getting started in the hobby that you found. I, yeah, I'll go backwards. I'll start. I'll start with you, Christy. Do you get any advice? Just one piece. Uh, one piece of advice. Um be easy on yourself you know it's a learning curve um practice practice um the more you paint the better you get and you're only going to get better that's all you know um don't be so hard on yourself in the beginning you know you don't start off awesome you get awesome and you know 
Just paint until you're satisfied. That's good advice, actually. Because, uh, I mean, I've seen there's a lot of people out there who will get intimidated when they look on, like, Reaper's, you know, Reaper's got a Facebook page, fan page, I think, mm -hmm. that Reaper actually runs. And I've seen the posts where, you know, oh, my God, you guys, your, your stuff is so incredible. I feel like my stuff is crap. No, it's not. Well, maybe it is, but you have to practice and get better, so it won't be. And honestly, the mini paint community is one of the best out there. They will give you criticism. They will not sit tear you down. So don't ever be afraid to share your work. I guess that would be my advice. You know, yeah. don't ever be afraid to share your work. Don't be afraid to get criticism and make yourself better. Ask people, go on YouTube, go on, look up blogs. There's all sorts of advice everywhere on learning. Um, Genevieve. Um, well, I would say um, also be very patient and, and like uh, Christy said, you know, don't be hard yourself. Um, if you have an art background, it'll be easier to get yourself into um, while you're still trying to learn things. Um, <coughs> but if you're completely new, just get some kits um, that will help you with, with steps, uh, instructions, and how to make it, uh, make it work for you as a beginner. And uh, just practice and practice and keep doing it until you get better and watch a lot of videos. Yeah. yeah. For real. And Chris, how about you? Um, I would say other than like anything that has to do with like actual painting of minis, my big thing that I see that confuses a lot of people when they're starting is not knowing the difference between style and technique. And they try to paint like someone else's style and fail. It, not always, of course. Sometimes it, you, somebody else's style will work for you. Uh, more often than not, it probably won't. Uh, for an example, um, I know Gorilla with the Brush. We paint like on Zoom. We do like a Zoom paint sessions every now and again. And his style of painting is obviously very, very different than my style of mini painting. And I. If I tried to paint how he paints, I think I wouldn't succeed to where I would want to be. Um, my best piece is learn techniques to develop your style. Try different techniques. Best place, obviously, to, to figure out what techniques will be. Uh, YouTube is where I found them all. Like I, I heard people talking about dry brushing. What is dry brushing? Look it up online. There's tons of videos that will detail what dry brushing is, how you should be doing strokes, how you should load your brush, blah, 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 blah. Glazing, uh, base coats, everything. Everything can be broke down. Miniac is one of the better ones out there, uh, for me anyways. Uh, whether you like his style of video could be, some people may not like his like super energy filled videos, but learn technique, your style will follow. And then you'll you'll do what you can do. Uh, some people don't know how to glaze, and glazing is not going to be a thing that they enjoy doing. But if they feel like they have to glaze, then they're going to walk away from any pain, being like, "No, it's, you don't have to." You just you know. yeah, no, absolutely. But one of the things I thought is there are a million ways to tackle this hobby. And oh, of course their own way of doing it. And the other thing I was thinking about technique is I, I've thought about this. Mini painting really is about learning to paint within the lines and then learning all the techniques to make it look pretty. That's really all it is. It's actually mm -hmm. fairly, I won't say, I don't know if this is the right term, but it's more, it's almost scientific rather than artistic. I mean, you do need the artistic part, you, you know, having some knowledge of color theory and, and such definitely helps um, and knowing how to properly use a brush. But a lot of it is scientific. A lot of it is, you know, okay, if I wanna paint rust, here's like a list of colors and this is how you apply them. A lot of painting is really, it's-, it's Very technical. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, that's kind of why it works for me. I, I mean, I am an, I do have uh, artistic background, but I am, by nature, I'm a very technical person. Even my graphic design is very technical. It's not very creative. So I think that's why this works for me. Um, so the other advice I was throwing out there is what type of minis would you recommend for a new painter? Um, 
Yeah, okay, Jen, sorry. I should actually remember. I've, I I got to pick who goes first. I just want to keep it mixed up. So Jen, you go ahead first. Um, well, I started with, with Kid, which is, you know, they're pre-primed and they're pretty much ready to go. You can just clean them up real quick um, as much as you want or just keep it like that and just paint away. Um, or there's Reaper where they're starting to paint Kid. You have some mini paints in the box, instructions and all that stuff. They have uh, triad paints. So you can do your layers if that's what you want to do. Um, but yeah, those are probably the two best companies to start with. Uh, Chris? Um, I'm going to have to agree with Jen. I think a Reaper start painting kit. And it, okay, first off, I'm going to say this has nothing to do with the fact that we're sponsored by Reaper. It's not why I'm saying these things. <laughs> no, it's, it's, really it's, 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 it's just, it, it, it is. I mean, you get, I think it's three or four models, two to three brushes, and 11 paints for like 25, 30 bucks, maybe something like that. In a nice, um, case that you can use later, I believe, to put, you know, you can use those cases. They're nice and hard. And so that's this is what it looks like. <laughs> I have one handy and it comes in this nice case. It's empty right now because I've taken everything out. But like, you know, it comes in this nice case that you can use as a travel case if you're going over to a friend's or whatever. You know, it's a hard plastic case for the price. I don't think you're going to beat it. Plus, it comes with a nice little instruction booklet that explains their yeah, how method to do it. or what you know how to use this kit to achieve this. They use more what I consider the artistic approach, and by that I mean you you're thinning down your paints to essentially make your own washes uh, and so on. So forth. they show you how to do that. It's a little more technical. Uh, whereas, you know, like you'll have GW where it's like, here's your wash. So you just, you know, it's ready to go. You don't, Not the gone. guesswork's taken out of making it for yourself. Uh, but it also, you, you, you pay a premium for having that. Yeah. I mean, well, the other thing I like about that case, I actually have, I bought their Christmas colors set mm -hmm. and all those little circle, all those little cutouts in the foam, they're all fit the uh, the Reaper, the paints in there perfect. So it's a great place to store your paints after you're done taking all the, uh, all the, the, you know, the minis and the brushes out. It's, it's a really like good it. little, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Start painting like, kit box. <laughs> so crispy, wait, which, which set was that from? Uh, it was a, it was one of the, uh, the star painting. I, I, that was eons ago. <laughs> I so, don't know. Well so when you, maybe I'll put it this way. So when you started, what kind of minis did you find uh, you like to paint? Well, this is, oh, it doesn't have to be a brand either. It could be just a more general type of mini that you thought was lent itself well to a begin, uh, to a beginner. Well, I mean, basically my mini painting was out of necessity so i wanted to paint like npcs and possible player characters and i did go reaper you know reaper bones and stuff like that and of course i did go um whiz kids you know um <laughs> you know of course i mean they really do make pretty good pcs and I mean, they make characters yeah, well, yeah I mean, you see one of their dragons i think actually well, maybe not. Yeah, I have a bunch of the large, <laughs> large Whiskits ones. I'm, I'm currently painting this. Oh, yeah, Jen did that one. Yeah. Oh, one. We have that, that guy. So Frost cool. Giant. Yeah, I have that Frost one. Frost Giant and, and the great one. That's Whiskits. Mm -hmm. I'm not done with him right now. That's base coats right now. So, you know. Nice. I, I did that one a, a while back when I started. Their color scheme is beautiful, by the way. I love the blue and yeah, the gold the there. Really I good. Just, I, I just, uh, I'm a fan of color. I, I am a color person. <laughs> yes. My stuff yeah. is colorful. <laughs> I mean, I don't think, again, you don't see the, the mini case beside you, but it's like, there's not one non -color All my stuff is like full of colors. <laughs> Everything's like super bright and colorful. So, <laughs> I want to add one thing to what you guys all said. So that, you guys are absolutely right. Reaper and Riz Kids. I think Reaper with the War and the Paint Kits are, are fantastic. One of the things I wanted to throw out there too is if you if you're just looking at the store and you're looking at minis 
and you're just starting, you want something that's not too bad. Uh, monsters with, with large eyes, you know, because eyes are turning on the butt and everybody knows it. I got a better um, idea. You get know, that don't have eyes. Or yeah, monsters. Go <laughs> monsters. Helmets go a long way, Carol. Helmets go it's a true. long way. You know what? <laughs> Kids Beholder, which I think you've, I've been able to find a lot better. Oh, yeah, we got one right there. We have, I have one sitting over there I painted, but I also have about four more that I've collected because it was so hard to find. I would just grab them yeah. when I found them. But their eye is like this big, you know, it's huge. Yeah. But it yeah. really takes a lot of the stress out of painting the eyes. So you want to find things without a ton of details, like, uh, you know, a simple skirt and pants and boots or whatever. Don't I started with, with like, like bugs. With. What? Started with bugs. Like, bugs? yeah, That's yeah, bugs, spiders, stuff like that. Animals. Yeah. yeah, Reaper actually makes some good bugs and things, and that is very true. Bugs. Uh, oh, as I say, although my in, first snail might have been. <laughs> in all honesty, I don't think there's a company out there that has the catalog that Reaper does. No, I don't. I, yeah. I don't think anybody comes close to what they offer, as far as. <laughs> There's not much you're not going to find out their website. <laughs> I would say another thing for like, just like uh, fodder is terrain crate. You know, that terrain, crate, of, that yeah. terrain in general is actually yeah. really good to start with. This is from Reaper. Little, their little <laughs> new cart there that they have. From yeah. Reaper. But you're right. Terrain crate's not bad or, either. Or this, this gem. Do you like portals? Oh, I have that. I haven't painted That's mine yet. Good. So, um, yeah, we're all, I guess we are all Reaper junkies. Although I said, I know, do you guys do War, I know you do Warhammer, Christy. What yeah. about you do? Uh, yeah, between the two of us, we have four armies for Age of Sigmar. <laughs> but it's not all built or not all painted. Nice. Whatever. Of course yeah. that. I have, okay, so I have orcs. I have a dock, the Daka jet. I have one of the cars and the Lutas. And, um, I can't remember the name. He's the pirate one. The pirate. Oh yeah, yeah I have those. Well, I don't team. think they make them anymore. I guess the two frippers. So, so I'm so happy I have them. I just want him because he's. You're a talking pirate. about the dwarves? No, the orc. There's an orc oh. pirate. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's got the two big hanging. On. He's got the <laughs> hanging on and the huge hat and. Um, okay, I have them up there somewhere. But I, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> But I do have some more hammer, but yeah, I'm like I love Reaper. I love and I like I like Whiz Kids, but I think Reaper Reaper's my favorite. No, they don't sponsor me. That's just an unsolicited opinion <laughs> from someone who's been painting uh, their stuff forever. I didn't drop uh, our link, so we're okay. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I do I do um special order from Russia this one chick and I'm trying to message my husband to give me a uh, idea but she makes these uh resin stuff and oh, she's not expensive and she she's very hands on she gets back with you on and stuff but they're really detailed stuff you know okay yeah, those are mummified bo bodies and stuff, but yeah, um, she ships pretty quickly. Um, they're very detailed. Um, the thing with resin is, is that a lot of detail and, you know, as a mini painter, when you're painting, you have spots you miss. With resin, oh, yeah. you're going to miss a lot of spots, so it's going to cover a lot of details and stuff. The bigger the mini and the more textured the mini, the more spots you're going to miss too. So as I said, I did, um, as we like to call it, Tia Knot or Albrick. I don't even say it, the car. The one from Reaper that's like a foot tall, but it's so, like the rocky base was so textured. I had to go over that thing like about four times before I got all the little friggin' spots that missed. You always, the same thing was with ceramics. They had that experience back when I used to do ceramics. So I was expecting yeah, it. Big. That is amazing. Yeah. Chris. It's not even done. <laughs> I used what to do ceramics that? too a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> that is the Warstrider Citadel for Age of Sigma. Oh, and there's another so cool. huge piece that attaches right at, right here, big dome. Yeah, uh, terrain a piece. It's just terrain. But uh, and, so I have I do have some of the I do have the original Age of Sigma box set, and then I promptly screwed up the. Um, 
the good guys, which are not really good guys. I can't think of the friggin' faction name. It's uh, hot. Brain's not uh, Stormcast Eternals. Yes, yeah, thank you. That's my husband's faction. Yeah, boo. That's the leader model. I, <laughs> <laughs> this is my faction. Ah, uh, Zinch. Yes, the chaos. Zinch. Those I have actually a Zinch. Yeah, you I have one. I have the, the, the dude on the flying disc with the three mana rays pulling him. Yes, I was thinking about putting that together. I, the burning chariot? Yeah, burning chariot. Yeah. I have this by this and this of chaos. Me too. I'm, I'm corn and skating. Um, oh, yeah. Um, let me think. Uh, my son is, my oldest son is Nagash. Um, my middle son is the what are those lizard guys? Um, Sarah? Oh my god, oh, Seraphon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seraphon. And then my daughter is the elves. And I posted okay. their minis. They've they've completed theirs. I've yet to complete mine. So <laughs> <laughs> the feeling. Um, how about so I put down the type of mini. I'm gonna I'm gonna combine the next two. So. Uh, any other types of materials or paints or anything that you recommend for like newbies? I mean, first of all, there's there's no bad paint. There's no good paint. It's about technique, like we said. Because <laughs> I've used like 99 cent paint and had good results. And yeah. I've used like really expensive plant paints and had bad experiences. Yep. So it's about the technique. It's not about the paints. Um, the paints I do like is Reaper's paints. Yeah. Um, they're great. They're um, great Leho's good. Um, Army Painter, to me personally, I think it's watery, but my son likes it and stuff. Whereas, is. like, <laughs> you know, um, uh, Games Workshop and stuff like that, Citadel paints. And whatnot, they're a little bit more pricey. I I tend not to use them as much. I don't, you know what? If it wasn't for the fact Citadel were the most readily available, I would go Reaper. But I can't find them in stores anywhere around here. So, well, most time I want to go to a store and pick it off the shelf, and that's so I'll go with Citadel. But really, I'm with you. I like Reaper. But as for like, and I will say this: most of the cheaper paints, I I I. I in fact, I use the, you know, like the Delta Ceram coat, uh, the cheapy craft store paints. However, I will give you one that I did not like because it was not pigmented a month. And that's the Michaels Craft Smart brand, brand. Now, maybe it's improved, but the first ones I got, I mean, I couldn't get any coverage at all. And I'm like, this is awful. <laughs> but for I the most part, I mean, would... paint. Yeah. <laughs> too much. It'll... There's too much medium in the, in the, the, the thing with army painter that I've heard, okay, I, I have a bit of army painter and I've noticed it as well. There's too much yeah. of the acrylic medium in the paint. So uh, a good tip is to some, sometimes you can try to take it out uh, by just not shaking the paint and just squeezing out that first little bit of extra medium out and then go for it. Uh, Interesting. I mean, I've... I, I use we bit. used a lot of GW because, like you, Carol, uh, yeah, that's what was readily available. But the thing that a lot of people hate about GW are the paint pots because you lose a lot of paint, right? So then that then you can you know do like I did and waste your time and decant all of them into these wonderful Reaper style <laughs> paint bottles <laughs> with a little metal bead inside for shaking. Me too. I got. I bought I bought a vortex shaker, so now I don't need the beads anymore. But I put them in anyways. Um, but you I still need same. to you still need to thin slash water GW paints. They're they're on the thicker side for that reason. Uh, Reaper, they've got the glass bead in it. They're a dropper bottle, so you lose less paint due to drying around the rim, and you don't have to water them down. Their colors are so vibrant. That too. Hey, you have a lot of you, got, you said you you all know who actually like uh, was in charge of their paint line developed all those paints, right? I mean, Chris, I know Chris probably mm -hmm. knows. Jen. I, I, I don't. Oh, and, you really don't? No. Ann Folger, who is a and, mini. Mm -hmm. 
She is a mini painter, and she's she the one who did the booklet, right? Am I correct? For the, uh, the surfing, because that's where I know her name from. She, she also she and also she expanded the color shades, like for skin tones too. She oh, we made, have that kit. She basically, made all of the reefer paints. Um, the thing of it is, I think what really served her well. She's a mini painter. She was their staff, one of the staff painters before she got into doing the paints. And that, so you have a mini painter making paints for painters and she knows what we like. So I think a huge reason probably why they are so good. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I like the paints that I said, I do like, don't mind the, uh, I like folk art, Ceram, uh, Delta. Yeah. Heck's the other one. There's another apple barrel. Apple, I, like yeah, apple I was gonna barrel. say there's one with apple. Apple's good. That's good. It's very I, thick. You I have to water it down, but it doesn't. It, at least it doesn't lose its pigmentation when you water it down right. a little bit. But that's it. That was my problem with the Michaels. It was just so transparent. But that's literally the only one I haven't been happy with. Hmm. Was that? But that's the really. I mean, that's even cheaper than the cheaper paint. So I suspect that's why. Um, but as I said, and if you're just starting out, I do recommend go ahead with the cheaper paints. Really, yeah. don't. Oh, yeah, of course. But you need to know whether or not you like doing this hobby. Now, yeah. you may find you don't have the patience for it. You do need patience, as Jen said, to do this hobby. Um, you know, they do take a bit of time to paint if you're going to do them properly, unless you're one of those ridiculous feet painters that can paint and <laughs> uh, paint something a masterpiece in an hour. That, that's my not middle me. side. He makes me sick. <laughs> how long, for Christy, how long does it take you to paint a mini? I'm a slow painter compared to everybody else. It that, depends on. I feel you. Yeah, I'm slow. It depends. It depends on the model, but mm -hmm. yeah. The details. A 28 millimeter. All right. So her, uh, her a typical hero. How long does it take you to paint like you know a normal D and D hero PC mini? If I'm trying to be fast, it's probably going to take me about four to five hours. No, see, that's not slow. I take about five to six. And that's that's me hating myself, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you sound like you're right on. You sound like actually that's a good rate. What about you, Chris? How long does it take you to paint a man? Uh, like, like uh, see, if we're going like a standard, like say Reaper Mini, where there's like. Yeah. You know, just the body, one or two accessories and a weapon. Yeah. Uh, if I go, I could probably do it in about two, three hours. If, you know, <laughs> that's, that's ta table to, tabletop quality, like we're not talking like masterpiece yeah. quality by any certain, not that I can, but we'll just say masterpiece quality. Um, but now the equivalent size, but like say in a Warhammer model where they cram every square inch of that model with as much detail as humanly yeah. possible, well, you're probably going to double that. Like, I have... I found out like, that the hard way. Uh, for example, like, if you look at this guy, <laughs> do I have a Reaper? Looking okay, here's a Reaper model that I like. So, where's my camera? Here, I'll switch the camera. Don't worry, Frank, you won't have to fix anything. <laughs> I can switch it. Uh, he is some is watching my camera. Let's go. Look at you being fancy. This one. So here's like this guy here. He's oh, Reaper. He's a so metal pretty. guy. This took me about two hours. Wow. Two three wow. hours. Really that's quick. I, I I whipped through because it's all rogues. Like that's I love rogues. I love rogues. Anything. I know, I know why. Yeah, it's a lot of that was, this now. Now that. this guy. I don't know if it'll focus. Come on, focus. There, there we go. Now, this yeah. guy is a skull taker uh, for my corn army. Yeah. This guy is, well, obviously a lot more detail, and he's got this wonderful of skull. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. you know, you got to paint that. Uh, so, this guy took me probably closer to like six hours. And, yeah. and again, that's like almost the same quality yeah. as the other one, but slightly, uh, slightly. <laughs> A little bit more detail. All right, Jen, how about you? How long does it take you to paint like a Reaper hero? Well, it probably wouldn't take me that long if I did it quickly, but my problem is everything that I paint, I want to paint the best that I can. Yeah. Well, no, 
fair. So, I mean, so so it, it it will take me longer, but I for the length of time I paint for what I do, I don't think I paint that slow. But yeah, I try. No, to she paint. paints fast as all hell. Okay, I, I'm not like. <laughs> She's oh, lying to you. Power. She's lying. She's a liar. She paints fast. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, like I don't, I used, when I painted yeah, I the first time, I did a lot of dry brushing and all that stuff, which makes things a lot faster. But now I use layering and then uh, wet blending and all that stuff. And I try to make my things as, as nice as I can. So it, it will take me a little longer for that reason. But no, that's, but, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, especially if you're working. I mean, although if you work, if you're doing a commission for somebody, you do have to balance that out too, on how much you're getting paid versus, yeah. How I know a guy. All right, so I know a guy who was a golden one of my main teachers, Golden Demon Award winner, and he'd spent like sixty hours on a mini, and he'd only charge like sixty bucks. It's like, what? <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, it, it's hard to charge. Let's say it. It is hard to charge probably what you're really worth, especially if you're slower painters like us. Because it hardly seems weird to charge you more because we're slow, but. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was actually about that subject. I was talking to Jen about that the other day. I'm like, with mini painting, it comes down to, like <coughs> your cost as a painter is minimal. Yeah. Paint and, and, and stuff is, True. In, the, in the volume you use is, is minuscule. Uh, however, it's your time, but now, what is considered appropriate time? You know, it takes you six hours to do a mini that takes somebody else four hours. Now, should you lose money because it takes somebody else less time? Right, and that is a big question. And and, and that's why, you know, you, you do like Jen, you just paint for minis. Just buy me minis and I'll paint a mini for you. That's how Jen gets Yeah, paid. yeah. She I've just takes minis as commission payments. That are like that. <laughs> I, really I don't want any money. I just give me more plastic. <laughs> I, I really that's how I do. Too. Just try. buy me many, and I'll paint it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love painting for others. Really, I do that. I actually, I take a lot of the money I get. I actually goes back to Reaper to buy. Yeah. <laughs> or I would. Yeah, it. actually, our last Twitch payment. That's exactly what I did. Last year, I brought. It. <laughs> couple of years, I had brought it to Gen Con too, and had a good time in the vendor room at Gen Con. So, all right. So, I want to move on to the next thing. I want to talk a little bit about streaming because I have no clue about it. I don't stream. All right. The no reason why is, and this is just me, A, well, A, because I don't have a lot of time, and B, because honestly, I don't know what I possibly, like, there's a lot of streams out there, but I don't know what I could possibly do to make mine, you know, to, to offer something different that isn't already being offered, unless it's just about me. But I, you know, I'd like to offer something that's not out there already. But I guess that's one of the questions. What do you guys think makes will makes your stream or makes a stream stand out from others? What do you think we could possibly do to, you know, maybe well, gain more of an audience? For us, yeah, the one thing that makes us stand out is we're a couple that paints together. Now there are quite a few. There weren't as many when we first first started, uh, but I could I just ramble off a list of couples that paint together that you see on Twitch. Uh, to be to be quite honest, there's nothing you're gonna do that hasn't been done already. Um, <laughs> everybody's got their thing. Everybody does what it is. Uh, the best thing I could suggest is just do you. Just go in there, do you, because if you try to be fake, people will figure it out eventually that you're fake and they'll call you out on it and then you'll just lose everything and look like Uh So go out and, and you know what? you When we started, and, and I mean, when we started streaming, we had maybe a year's of experience of mini painting under our belt. So like we were really not bringing anything to the table here. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're not, we're not educating nobody. <laughs> We're not, we're not going to teach you something you didn't know existed. Like we're, we're not, we're new, we're learning. However, the one small thing that I think we brought is that we are completely somewhat like what you would consider a new. We came in with little to no experience in mini painting uh, and people liked it. We're, we're new. So, you know, it's easy to relate to because you're not trying to relate to somebody with 35 years of mini painting experience, for example. I'm not calling you out, Carol. I don't think you have that much, but anyways. Not quite. But like, I, I know I know guys that have been streaming that, you know, they've 
Sam Lentz, for example. I, I don't know Sam Lentz, but like Sam Lentz, for example, streams. He is a <laughs> well known mini painter. Uh, he's won umpteenth awards for his mini painting. The guy paints with 99 cent brushes. Some yeah. from, from from like you know the cheap brushes and yeah. I mean you look at his work and you're like again it's not buying a thirty dollar brush isn't gonna make you a better painter. Uh, I will yeah. um, it, it won't however I will say one little thing it does help a little bit. It helps yeah. you control the paint a little bit more I than th a cheap I think, brush. I think I think the, the nice thing about the more expensive brushes is they don't split apart nearly as often, so then you have to go buy them every, you know, after exactly. Every, uh, that's, but, that's what's nice about them. But as far as <laughs> any one thing you're going to do to Twitch that's, or on Twitch, or I was going to say Mixer, but that doesn't exist anymore, um, as of yesterday, um, or, or any other platform you're going to want to stream on, let's say Twitch, because that's pretty much the prevalent one for many painters right now. Uh, there's really nothing you're gonna do. I know. I know. There's streamers that that like have like a gimmick type of thing. And I don't want to call it gimmick. Gimmick's probably not the best word for it. But they have like uh, a shtick, I guess, or something like that. Uh, they, you know, like uh, a guy that we know, awesome painter, great guy. He wears like, can be, like funny looking hats, <laughs> like bunny ears or like a monster head or his tin foil hat or whatever and but the guy's an amazing painter he's super nice oh yeah one of the great guys um he's made me almost cry on a couple occasions because of his kind words but anyways uh the the one thing i can say and again we're small bananas in the world of streaming like we're not we're not raking in the cash or anything by any means so if you're doing it for money, uh, don't. You just don't. I think great we, we, advice. we are so far beyond recuperating any actual financial investment into anything <laughs> that we've done. So what? What we we're not in it for the money, okay? Um, and that's fine. We're doing it because we enjoy painting and we enjoy the painting community on Twitch. Uh, that we like genuinely made friendships with people from literally all over the world. Um, and and the, the guy I was referring to and why he almost made us cry is going to prove my next point of why you should stream. No matter how small you are, you can influence somebody without even realizing it. And, and that's what made me tear up, choke up when he said this. Um, he told us and, and again i had i had no idea we're just we went into a stream hey man what's up we haven't seen you in a long time we saw you're online so we checked him out he's like i started you guys were the first stream i watched on twitch again how we were the first stream i don't know but wow. it has happened so we you were the first twitch stream i saw the reason i was on twitch was to see if i would like the mini painting community on Twitch. This guy is a well-established commission mini painter. Uh, Twitch is something that came after the fact. He has been painting for quite a long time as a professionally, that's his job. Um, so Twitch was something he was just exploring. So he sees us first and we, we treat everybody the same way. Hey, how's it going? You know, you say hello, you know, what do you do? Do you paint? Do you draw whatever it is you do you want to share off from your work we we like to see other people's work it's just you know i like seeing what carol paint i like seeing what everybody does i do I, i'm I like not you paint for sure and so you know we we welcome him with open arms like we would anybody else and i follow that, him, i think and and that convinced him to start streaming on twitch wow and, he streams every day and like he's averaging like really good viewer counts. So this guy is 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 going up and then he's telling us that it's all because of YouTube. Oh. And I'm like sitting yeah. there like oh. I mean, that like, actually makes sense. Like, I've had that happen to me because I do a lot of conventions that I've gotten mm -hmm. people to painting. And you're right. When you find out that you did influence somebody, it's it's wow it is a great feeling all right so christy 
what are you going to so what are you going to do so you are starting a stream and when is your stream going to be on or do you know that detail yet um yeah actually um it's going to be uh friday nights at 7 30 to about um nine o'clock and what is going to what do you uh what do you want to focus on what are you going to focus on are you going to focus I, on I, I'm gonna, or chatting or um uh, chatting and Peyton, uh, my oldest son, uh, we did it last Friday. Um, we had a bunch of people from Twitter join us and we just, you know, talked back and forth. My uh, sister came in and, you know, we have cute moments. Apparently, we're adorable, me and my family. Oh my God, that's <laughs> I was thinking that if, if you don't mind having your son on your stream, that actually might be a thing. I don't know too many. No. Um, Some kids might like that. There's, in, in, that would be really cool. In I, all honesty, with the way too many hours I spent on Twitch to admit, <laughs> I, I don't think there are any streams for mini painting that are parent and child. No, I don't think so. So that would be that would be a unique thing for you guys. Yeah. I mean, any any one of my kids could join. I mean, my daughter, she's she's uh, she's open to it, but right now she's in, absorbed in Animal Crossing. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then my little son, he's the shadiest one of all. He is so funny. He's so shady, but <laughs> he's so funny. But he's talented, and he's a lefty, and um. He's out on the road with his dad right now. So uh, my oldest son, he, he was like, yeah, we can do this. And um, the chemistry and stuff like that was authentic. Um, yeah. You know, we talk about not only just painting. Um, he started, you know, because we're painting the Fallout um, RPG game. And he Good started. Show and tell, some more show and tell. Because I was going to show and tell at the end and we're running out of time. Yeah, I know. This is his mini. He started the base coats. It's a oh, it's armor. coming out good. Yeah, he started it. I mean, it looks good. Uh, he's really good at um, light sourcing, like object light sourcing. Yeah. That's yeah. So many people would kill to learn. There's so many people that, that just, they, they have no idea where to begin. And but that's really cool. I'm he's naturally talented. And a scope, he will paint the screen and then the light on the face. Wow. I'm not good at that. He sounds My middle like son is really good at freehanding. He can just come up with his design off the top of his head. And then my daughter, she's like a wizard at fur and bases. Wow. You saw all your kids. So are all like three together, you got like, yeah, you, know, like you got yourself a top tier mini painting. <laughs> I don't just have I, mean, I can show up my. I can show up mine and theirs. Theirs are really good. My husband's is good. I think I'm okay, but th they blow me away. You're fine. I've seen your stuff. You're absolutely fine. Your stuff is great. Um, she's on Twitter. What, uh, what's your Twitter handle? Because I'm it's above my head on the Twitch. Oh, that's right. That's right. Everybody's Twitter handles here, and we uh, we all post our. Well, I don't know. I keep wanting Chris to post more work. But uh, the I rest need to of us are really, so oh, be sure to check I, us out. Um, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab a mini of mine, a grab a mini of my husband's, and a grab a mini of my daughter's and my son's. Absolutely, because the final thing I want to do, I was going to do more on streaming, but we're running out of time. I want every, I want to do a little show and tell. So go ahead and grab that. Um, like either something this you're is, working on, you really love. This is my Skaven dude, my Grace here. <gasps> Oh, he's beautiful. I love the so, colors. Uh, yeah, so my whole army is going to be essentially pink and purple for my Skaven. Oh, what I did purple. on this one is uh, I painted gloss varnish on on the that green orb. I don't know how well it's going to come across. Of course, now it doesn't want to focus. Focus. <laughs> being finicky. Uh, of course, autofocus. There you go. There you go. So, so that I painted gloss varnish on it and on nothing else so it's got that like shiny looks like almost like a marble right and then i love it i i like i like robes i love painting robes uh this is also the first time i did non-metallic gold so all the gold is how much did you like doing it the non-metallic gold 
Yeah. Uh, in all honesty, use uh, the Reaper Triad kit because that's what yeah. I use. Okay. Oh my god, it's so easy. It is well, so easy, Carol. It's so unreal how well, easy it is. Friends. Okay, so I've done non metal metallics and I thought, oh my god, this takes forever. It just takes its time consuming. I had a friend of yes. mine who did an entire mini non metal. He's like, I'm never, ever, ever doing it again. He's a fantastic painter, too. And it's like, well, maybe someday you will. But yeah, when you paint a whole entire mini in non metallics, it does take a long time. Do you yeah. have anything else you want to show off? And well, I did. Well, I can show. Here's a same army, but this guy's only purple. This is a. Uh, I love that. By the a way, plague, I'm so a happy. plague priest. Uh, again, non-metallic metal. Uh, that was the first time I ever did freehand in the book. I mean, that it's looks nothing, so it's nothing good. special. Uh, hey, I did. You know, it looks amazing. You're well, I, I mean, it looks like fine. Her. I'm not saying it's. I mean, I did two triangles. Uh, <laughs> and that's and then all the gold again non-metallic uh, metal oh, i did the base out of uh, clay using a uh green stuff world roller and uh, you seriously need to post more of your work that's oh, this is all online this has all been posted oh, I miss it. oh is it on you know as i guess it uh, it's on good. instagram oh that's why i'd have to find you on instagram and i don't go there very often <laughs> so but this I, guy yeah, that is uh, my thing all right got, Jen, got a lot I, of love you want to put it under this camera? Sure, I can put it under this camera. Okay, Chris is going to show it off. So the first okay. one is part of Chris's army, but it was for a challenge. So I painted the Skaven. I love the fact you picked Skaven, and I love the fact you have purple. Purple's my favorite color. So and Yeah, it's so turquoise and, well, it's like a magenta pink kind of color, and then I did the base as well. And then, and then he's got this yeah. little, like, brain rat dude on the back. <laughs> little that's cherry awesome. pack. I, I love that one. And yeah, and I did the base completely. By the way, that's the cool thing about Warhammer minis is all the little details like the little guy on the back. They have so many crazy, I love their details. Yes. Beautiful. beautiful. What else you got? Oh, yes, your and then shark, the other one's a Reaper, shark dude. A Reaper Metal Mini, which was very popular on uh, online. So. It's so good. I love then, them abs and the mouth. Lower, for, and I did the water. water. Oh, we're done. Okay, good. Because you were like yeah, cutting off. Yeah, I was showing the base. Like how yeah, it's a water so base. Good. Some Vallejo um, water. And he's holding this little like uh, octopus thing in his yeah. hand. <laughs> but yeah, it's like turquoise. It's, so it's hard to see the colors. <laughs> it, looks so, look, it looks great though. I mean, I can, I can make it out on here. My screen is a little, little. I've got you all on my screen. All right. Christy, go ahead. Wait, let's see what you have and your kids have. I can't wait. Okay. I love seeing minis. All right. I'm going to start with my husband's. I told you he's Stormcast Eternals. Yep. Yeah. Oh, very blue, blue and gold. I, mine are purple and gold because it's purple. But I love, I love blue and gold. All oh, the gold. That looks so good. He's good at, he's just good at everything. All right. Um, I'll start with my youngest first. I told you my daughter is good at base. base oh, she really is. Fur. Yeah. That's our Arctic oh, werewolf. Yeah. He's got a skull in his hand. <laughs> she did everything. Um, my middle son, I told you he was good at freehanding. He did this <clears throat> design. Wow. Oh, wow. That's By really the way, nice. the orange, the orange and the blue, yeah, of course the opposite colors, so they they do match. But wow, that is really striking. He's got a good sense of color too. Yeah, he does. And then my son, these kids all need to go to art school. They have the artists. They're amazing. <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna. That's definitely part of Nagash's army. <laughs> <laughs> that's guy. awesome. Okay. okay, for doors. And then mine, I'm, this is what I'm currently working on. You guys already saw it, but is I'll it show it off. Right? Not... Oh, no, it is. Oh, you've got Baba. No, I missed this. You're oh, doing the Baba, Baba Yaga hut. hut. <laughs> I still Very need nice. to do mine. Very oh, nice. that's great. I like the colors you've, you've got going there. I love the fact that there's so many different ways to paint that hut. And oh, yeah, I've seen so many different variations. So different. That is lovely. 
Yeah. Oh my God, that's really cool. I'm not done with her yet, but no. But I'm... you've got good progress. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I got a couple things. Um, I guess I will show. Let's see. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing a, I'm doing the Wacky Racers from the Wacky Racers board game, and it's a commission. Uh, I got a couple here. Um, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy with this guy. Uh, this. This is the, I, I don't remember the names. I never watched the cartoon. So I'm, not, oh, uh, I'm not totally going by the colors in the cartoon. Is that Adam's yeah. family? Yeah, that no. looks like. Or the Munsters. No, it's not. It, they're Hanna-Barbera cartoons. And there's. Uh, oh, okay. And there's like all names for these. Um, uh, but yeah, this well, is. People are really digging these. I was actually really surprised. I'm also going more cartoony, so less highlights and yeah. I just basically the way to go. But uh and I said I'm not going true to the colors of those. Uh, I'm also happy with, with the uh I think it's this called the Arkansas Chugga Wagon. Something like, <laughs> oh, like, like a like Beverly track. Hills Billy's kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah. they are rather uh, Old Hanna Barbera, they're radical, rather uh, politically incorrect. <laughs> yeah, uh, as most as most things are from back really then. I know back from my childhood. And then I have oh, I don't know if I can get her on screen. So this is one of my this is my my one of my favorite ones I've ever done. Um, oh. She is from War Machine Hordes. I love the Grimkins. They're amazing faction. They're all you know, just all these great. I also have the tree, the Witchwood tree. Oh, it's really nice, Carol. Oh, Witchwood Heights. Oh, I lost the friggin' moon off the top of her head. <laughs> I moved the moons around. I had it going up here, and I don't know where it is right now, but oh, I really man. did love this. I love this mini. And, of course, purple. So. I love it, too. So, all right. So, final thoughts, since we are slightly over time. Um, let's see. I'll start with Jen this time. Any final, final thoughts? thoughts? All right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you're playing with the dog. Oh, so cute. <laughs> uh, the dog's getting in. <laughs> um, well, I would suggest that anybody can get into mini painting, no matter if you have experience in, you know, if you, if you have an art background or not. Uh, just slowly get into it and um, one step at a time. Watch a lot of videos to learn what you need to learn, and uh, just, just, just do it. <laughs> All right, Chris. Um. A lot of what Jen said, uh, YouTube, <laughs> Twitch, all great sources. Uh, one thing I forgot to add is a great thing that beginners can use, uh, a pocket wheel, color wheel, oh, yeah. uh, like this one Jen got me, uh, definitely helps. When you remember to look at it, in my case, I always forget. Or you can have, or you can be somebody, or if you already took it and remember, you remember your color wheel from when you were in art school, in my case, I had to take color theory. I have an art degree, so I kind of no, don't. No art theory here. I don't even own one. <laughs> I just know them. <laughs> but uh, I like clothes and makeup, so I just go with what looks good. So there's oh, that too. I take that approach a lot. Like <laughs> I'll I'll grab like experiment. You know, hey, I I think I think I want this guy to have red leather pants because that's the kind of leather pants I want him to have. So deal with it. You know, if it you doesn't know what? match, it doesn't. Matter. I don't care. Experiment with color. You may find something you like, something that supposedly yeah. doesn't work. I also heard look at nature, because oftentimes yeah. nature's combinations are not on a color wheel. And I, I saw I that. Look, off, that's a good idea. Look at I pictures off, yeah. based off my grandma's, because I was like, an old lady lives here, and my grandma. <laughs> that's so awesome. Do <laughs> uh, to go ahead and plug uh, any uh, website, your Twitch channel. Go plug all that stuff. Where can we find you? Chris, uh, basically, D underscore Black underscore Christy on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch. I was going to get to you because I wanted your final thought. Fine. What's your final thought, Sue? My final thought is, you know, uh, pick a mini that you're excited about. You're going to yeah. do good. You're, gonna, you're probably going to paint it because you like it. Paint what you like. Yeah. That's like the best. All right. Uh, any other any other places you want? When's your, your Twitch? So your Twitch stream is on Fridays Friday at night is seven thirty Eastern. Cool. And uh, okay, so YouTube. When are your When are you two streaming? Uh, we have changed our schedule, but we are still doing our regular Sunday stream that starts at 
usually noon, but sometimes if we run a little late, it'll be closer to one, but it's usually noon. Uh, we're going to be streaming on Mondays and Eastern. Wednesdays at noon, all Eastern time. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. CG Mini painting on pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah, but you, you can are, still find it. Yeah, very easy to find. find it's the CG mini painting. I've just used to it. Um, and you can find me on Twitter. I do not stream, but who knows? Maybe it will because you actually really made me think about that. I like to influence people into getting into this hobby. Do it, Carol. Um, do it. I want more people. I want more people involved. You do need some patience. I can't really teach that, but we can teach you pretty much anything else. Um, but you find me, I'm the Muses Touch Miniature Painting. I'm on Twitter. I've got a Facebook page. Come and follow me. Uh, and I do post fairly regularly when I get stuff done. Right now that all those uh, wacky racers, they're taking me a bit to do, but they're fun to do. They look so, good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really I was really surprised I'm getting such a great reception by them. Um, let's see. So, uh, oh, and you two, you two take commissions. Do you take commissions, Christy, or are you just you're just streaming? Um, occasionally. I occasionally, you know, and, and it's usually, um, you know, uh, if I feel like it, kind of thing. It's yes. not actively promoting it and stuff, but like, you know, um, I get to talking to people like you and stuff, and they'd be like, "Oh, well, you know, I'm starting a stream, or I'm doing a podcast, or I'm doing this and that," and you know. How much would it cost? And I'm like, okay, well, I can do it. And then they're like, thank you. And I'm like, cool. That's how you get roped into this, you know, as your friends start coming to you going, hey, you know, we'll pay you, but can I have a, I need a mini for a game, which yeah. is like most of the people that commission me. I do get some outside people now, which is insane, but I still do have a lot of friends who, who uh, do indeed give me their minis to pay for games. Um, but you know, but the other thing is, don't feel you have to either. Don't feel you ever have to monetize or something that's a hobby. Do it because you love it. And if well, you don't, don't ever have it become work, because then you will probably hate it. That's what I've been. I hard in real life, so you know, I don't need the money. You know, I can... the best. They are. They are. <laughs> but, the but yeah, I mean, it's kind of like. You know, they, they're like, I don't want to ask you, but I kind of want to ask you. And I'm like, okay. I'll take it. All yeah. right. And with that, we are definitely, we're now about 10 minutes over. I don't care because this was mini painting and this was a ton of fun to talk about. <laughs> I hope we can. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> um, so follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, check out our YouTube ar archives. Uh, buy our cool stuff in our store and of course visit us on discord like we'd love to talk to you but you know you gotta come there and visit and join and and talk to us yeah uh, of course if you want a seat at to either be part of one of these discussions or you want to seat at one of our games and this week we have a couple one shots i believe for thursday and saturday uh go ahead and contact uh email the email our fearless leader at mhobo inc dot where the heck is it gmail.com yes gmail <laughs> uh, you know, five thousand times a day according to everybody with the cast so i shouldn't have it memorized but uh <laughs> thank you very much for watching and thank you guys for joining and this was a ton of fun it was our pleasure maybe yeah we'll much for coming again us. and maybe it won't take so long so, no, it always works. Have a good night, everybody. Waves. Bye, waves. Good night.